Hi, I'm Dave Doak, one of the directors at Free Radical, and today I'm going to give you the first video playthrough of Hayes. Hayes is our new PlayStation 3 shooter, and in Hayes you play a character called Shane Carpenter, who's a soldier in a private military corporation called Mantle. Now at the beginning of the game, Shane's fighting for Mantle, and they give him a drug called Nectar, which makes him faster and stronger and gives him great abilities in combat. But as the story unfolds, you become convinced that there's something wrong with Mantle, and you switch to the other side. Now when you're on the other side fighting for the rebels, you use Nectar against Mantle. So this is what we're going to show you today. This is the abandoned resort level of the game. So this is fighting late on in the story where you're coming through a hotel Cover complex which has been bombed out and destroyed by the war. So fighting on the rebel side and fighting against some mantle troopers here. Let's go! So over this fallen mantle trooper here, first of all can scavenge some ammunition and now creating a nectar grenade. So the nectar grenade is available but also the knife has nectar on it. So that knife becomes a ranged weapon which you can automatically use to trigger overdose. So this trooper here has gone into overdose. So he's completely unaware of the grenade coming in and stuff from his mates. Um, Coming up the stairs, and that's just a simple knife throw. Um, ranged attack again, but took the guy out in one, in one hit. Obviously the knives are much more kind of like visceral weapon than, than, than the, the automatic rifles and stuff. Grenade! So Nectar Grenade didn't quite catch that guy, so he came forward, but again took him down with a knife. Nectar Grenade over there, this is good because there's two troopers, so it's kind of two for one action, so they're both caught in the cloud of Nectar Gas, and they're both getting into overdose now. So, and in fact, one of the guys just turned on his mate and killed him. Flash, steal weapon, shoot the guy. Primed with a nectar knife now, looking for some more victims. Nobody about. Do we hear? Ah, so he's got his back to us, which makes him very vulnerable to the administrator shot. Straight in there, administrator blows out, and you can see he's he's gone crazy. So now he's looking for he's looking kill crazy, he's looking for fresh blood and fresh blood comes in the form of one of his comrades. And in fact when he was shooting at him you can see also his administrator is blown out as well so it's just escalated. This guy's gone still, what's wrong with him? Oh he's got a grenade out. Kaboom. So very much when you're fighting against the mantle troopers, a good technique is to use an extra grenade to soften up the defences as you come into any area because chances are you can turn some of them against each other and it makes the whole job simpler for you. And then it's all the melee kick, so it's kind of a, a double double tap thing. You go in first of all, melee them and then hold for a strike. Okay, pretty heavy fire, two troopers, whoa! Play dead. Outgunned there, the only option really other than getting killed was to play dead, which is great though because now they've ran past me so I can get back up, attack them from behind, and suddenly a situation where I was completely outgunned and going down has been turned to my favour. So a neck and knife against helicopter gunship, that's not gonna not gonna be too easy, so heck here comes the incoming fire. A little bit of a, that was a double tap to execute a fast roll. Um, so the rebels have got these fast dive and roll um, maneuvers they can do, which helps a lot, particularly when you're kind of like jumping out of the way of rockets. And again, that's unavailable to Mantle. The Mantle Trooper is much more kind of like static, plodding kind of way of fighting. Who's in here? Okay, well, that trooper, another trooper. Again, the grenade, they're very vulnerable to this. Leave it to them. To do the killing. They've both gone into overdose, and once again, it's just a matter of, 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 of sweeping up afterwards. Shotgun, always a nice weapon with a kickback, throwing him off the roof there, off the air conditioning units. Uh, 
and scavenging, creating another nectar grenade from the, the, the falling fallen trooper there. So these guys with the cross-shaped visors are the mantle heavy troopers, so they're often quite dangerous. They'll be carrying rocket launchers or shotguns. Of course, if they've got a shotgun, you can always steal it from them. Point the business end back at them. Right from the back. Just cleaning up, really. So really what you're doing all the time is using the fact that you can effectively turn the troopers into their own enemies to give yourself superiority. There goes the dropship again, but here comes Marino's helicopter, so let's get the hell out of here.